Hey guys, Luke C in a HDV here, uh, and I thought what I'd do this morning is I'd just quickly show you how to work the taco machine. Uh, I've had a few guys ask me to show you how to do it, so uh, here goes. This is the taco machine. So it's 25 pounds, by the way, sorry uh, for any close up of my face. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to try and get as close as I can to the taco machine, but obviously it's small text, so you might not be able to see it very well. Anyway, so it's uh, 7.25 almost, well yeah, just gone. So it's 7.26, that's the tacker machine. Um, it's pretty simple, you basically have an eject button and a one button, an eject button and a two button, and that's for two separate drivers, so you'd only really need to use one, and it goes in the left hand side slot here. This is the card, so it goes in there. And then the second driver would put theirs in that slot, but nine out of 10 times you'd, you'd only be by yourself. And then you've got a couple of arrow buttons, okay, and a backwards button. So, what you do is, uh, first thing in the morning, so I've just turned up at work, my tacker card ain't in yet. Uh, so I get my tacker card, which is this. So, uh, it's the same as the driving licence in a way, um, but with a chip on the back. And that chip is where all the data is stored. So what you do is you just slot it in, chip facing up, into slot one. Give it a push in, and then you see it will read it. So the time is 7.27 but UTC time is 6.27. So um, basically, because we're in BST, British summer time, the clocks have gone forward an hour, um, but these run on UTC time. So do I wanna do a manual edition? No, I don't, because the time it just come up with was correct when I finished yesterday, uh, plus an hour. So if I finish at, say for example, five o'clock in the afternoon, it will say that I finished at four o'clock, that's fine, because it's gonna say I started an hour earlier. So um, even though the time right now is 7.27, it's saying it's 6.27. So just put OK and start in the UK, and that's it, it's done. So there's different symbols. So you've got this cross symbol here, I don't know if you can see it. That means other work. Um, so right now, in my cab, with the tacker card in, I'm doing other work. So this would be the time when you do your daily checks. Um, I've actually already done some of them, I only need to do a couple more. I forgot to put it in. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the daily checks. Um, and then another symbol is that one, which means your brake. Uh, and the other one is driving, which will automatically kick in as soon as you start moving. So if I just put it in gear second, if I just move slightly forward, you'll see that it kicks off. have to reach a certain speed. There we go. So you see the symbol's changed it's to a circle. That means that I'm driving and now it's kicked back to other work. So one of the questions I got uh, the other day was what do you do when you're tipping? Well the answer is um, as soon as I'm tipping I'm stopped it will go into other work uh, but sometimes we're getting pushed along the paver so sometimes it counts as driving. So um, it's a bit hard to, to judge really how much driving time you've got because you might arrive on site with like half an hour drive time left but by the time you leave the site you've run out of driving time because you're being pushed on that paver for half an hour, 45 minutes for example. But yeah, that's the taco card. Um, and then I'll show you what to do to eject it at the end of the day. Right, so I'm on site. Um, I'm third in line to go. So what I'm gonna try and do now is get a 15 minute break in because um, then I've only got to have half an hour later. So what you do, um, first off you turn the engine off and you see it goes into other work. So what you do is you press the one and that puts it onto the bed symbol, uh, which means that I am now on break. So once that's gone to 15 minutes, it will then show 15 minutes. In fact, let me just show you. So if you press the down button, it comes up with all this, all this information. So in the last, uh, well, so far I've done two hours and two minutes of driving, which is not an awful lot. And I think so far over the fortnight I've done 62 hours of driving. But that's, that there means I've done two hours and two minutes. This here, with the bed, will start to count up. So when I've done one minute, that double O will turn to a one. And when it's done 15 minutes, the pause will move to 15. And that means that I've got a 15 minute break registered. Uh, and then that will keep going up. So in a second, that bed symbol will turn to one, so I'm just going to hold on for that to turn to one because it'll only be about 30 seconds or more. But um, yeah, so you, obviously you've got to have a 15 minute break, 
uh, within six hours of working time. So I started at seven o'clock this morning, so I need to have 15 minutes before 1 p.m. Uh, and then you gotta do a 45 minute break within four and a half hours of driving. So I'm well within the driving regulations. Um, just gone to one letter. So you see now the bed symbol has turned to one, so that means I've had one minute break. But if I were to, if I were to move, say, 14 minutes time, uh, or 13 minutes time, and it said 14 minutes in total, then it won't register as a 15 minute break, I'll have to have another 15 all over again. You can't move until the pause says 15, which if it does, I'll, uh, I'll get this back up and running and show you. Right, so break time is nearly up. If I just like, give you a quick look, so you'll see that the bed symbol is on the 14. <clears throat> so that means I've had a 14 minute break, but it won't register until it says 15. And when it does say 15, the pull symbol will also move to 15. So by my calculations in about 25 seconds, that's gonna be. Uh, and when it does go to 15, I can move, which is lucky because we're gonna need to move in a second anyway. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, so within the next 10 seconds, it's gonna move to 15. So we see it says 14 there. When it says 15, the pull symbol will also say 15. There we go. So now I've actually had a 15 minute break. I can move uh, without affecting our 15 minutes and I now only need to have a half an hour later. But if I decide I want to have 45 minutes later, I can, there's nothing stopping me from having a 45 minute break. You can have as long a break as you want, really. That's just minimum requirements. So, uh, yeah, so that's the break sorted. And uh, it's exactly the same for the 45. So now that would just keep counting up and up and up until it says 30, because uh, that's the next registered break. And then you need to have another 30 later on in the day, if you've had a 30 already. It's a bit confusing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and the next clip is going to show you how to take your card out at the end of the day. And now we're at the end of the day, we can take the tacker card out. <clears throat> so, firstly, it's not really the end of the day, it's only quarter past two, but uh, I finished in this lorry. But uh, process is still exactly the same. So what you do is you go to your tacker machine. So as you can see here, I am doing other work. I'm actually filling up a fuel at the moment. But I can still take the card out. So you press the eject button, and you see it says my surname, and then this ticker goes down. Uh, it's just saying that, uh, 13.20, which is not the time, but just put OK. Let that count down, request 24 hour, no. And there we go. That's all we've got to do, card is out. Yeah, the reason it said 13.20 is because it's still on UTC time, whereas it's actually 14.20. But, um, <clears throat> yes. That's it. So uh, hopefully now you know how to use a tacking machine a bit better. And if you didn't know how to use one at all in the first place, then hopefully that gives you a bit of a guidance. It's one of those things that you're not really taught how to use. You're taught what the symbols mean on your tests, but you're not really taught how to use a tacking machine. Uh, and that's what I've just done. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. See you soon.